What up guys, welcome back. So let's go ahead and show you guys another way you guys can farm Hyperlane using a, not a new route, but another route. So what I realized is that I haven't made a video on this route. Actually, that has been available for probably two to three months, but I haven't made a video. So there you go. Probably some of you guys haven't heard about it because it is not something that people really use. So if you use it, you might have an advantage in terms of the airdrop or maybe a multiplier or just diversifying whatever you have been using for Hyperlane. So Hyperlane, it is a bridging technology just like Layer Zero. Currently, it is tokenless. So most likely in the future, just by using their technology, we might receive an airdrop. Easy, right? So since you guys really love funding, so here's the information about it. They have raised $18.5 million and some of the investors are Circle, um, Kraken Ventures, Variant, Figment Capital, so on and so forth. To be honest, I don't really care about funding. For me, it doesn't really matter. And 10, 5, 18 million dollars, that is nothing because these projects are already making millions of dollars. Because guess what? There is a lot of people using Hyperlane, um, bridging like crazy because they want to receive the airdrop. And obviously, Hyperlane is charging for each one of these transactions. So obviously, they are already making money. $18 million is nothing for them. But hey, if you're into funding, here's the information. I don't think it is. it really matters unless you're talking about a funding like $500 million, $1 billion. Yes, there it gets kind of interesting. But $18 million, if they have it or not, doesn't really matter. Now, let's go ahead and show you guys the process. So for this, we will go to renzo.hyperlane.xyz. This is using Everclear and Renzo. What we're going to be bridging is Easy ETH, which is the liquid version of Ethereum through multiple chains. Or again, it is available on multiple chains. You don't need to use all of them if you don't want to. Um, and by the way, we're just bridging the liquid version of ETH. That's it. Now, if you guys want to get this, you can just use Jumper. For example, you can use USDC on base and then you get um, Easy ETH. Make sure that what you are swapping it for is for Easy ETH and not Renzo. Renzo is the governance token. You cannot bridge that. You need to be using Easy ETH. So once you have your funds, it can be on base, Arbitrum, whatever you're using. You add the amount. So for example, we have Linea to base, and then I can just add max. I'm not going to take this transaction because I realize that if I click on self, it will add my wallet address and I don't want to show you guys that. So you click on self because it will add it for you automatically. And then you click continue and then it will take the transaction and it will bridge it to the other chain. Um, so for that, it is available on Arbitrum, Optimism, Base, Blast, BNB, Mode, Linea, Ethereum and Fraxto. The only one that I'm not using is Fraxto. I'm not a user on that chain. And also I try to stay as organic as possible. They are not dumb. So if we're sending funds to Fraxto, it will probably look that we're just farming the airdrop. So in the end, I usually just use Arbitrum, Optimism, Base, uh, Mode and Linea are the ones that I really use most of the time because these are the, the chain that I'm the most active on. So I just send some funds there and that's it. Since I'm using Easy ETH, what I use, what I usually do is just send it to Linea leave it there for a couple of days, maybe a week or, or so, and then I swap it back or I send it to another chain, whatever I want to do with my funds. But I don't do like sending it from Linea to Base and then from Base to Arbitrum, then from Arbitrum to Optimism. Don't do it like that. Send your funds, leave it there for some time, maybe use your Easy ETH to um, supply it or to stake it somewhere so you can earn some API for a few days and then after that you can remove your funds. So at least you're showing that you're actually using your funds and not just bridging to, to form a project. That's it. So there you go, guys. Any information, questions, doubts that you might have, just let me know in the comments. I'm going to be adding all the links, but also we do have some other videos on how to form a hyperlane. So I'm going to add it in the comment sections uh, section so you guys can check that out. See ya. Bye bye.